And again, if you guys are bored by this already, let me just scroll down. You see there's a lot more going on here. So I'm just getting started here. All right, yeah, I got the new Rode Wireless Go 2 mic. So I have one up here. I just don't rock it like this. I think it looks really freaking stupid. But speaking of audio quality, we're gonna go over sound design for videos real quick. I just posted this other video where I did zero sound design and the images look pretty, but I'll roll it right now. As you guys can see, it seems fine, right? But now let me roll this other clip. The smell of gun smoke. So you see, same kind of setting. One the horse, one a motorcycle, totally different things. But as you can see for the motorcycle one, there's just a lot more uh, sensory going on in your brain. You're able to like get into the video more because there's such like big sound going on into it. If you mute a video and you watch it, it's kind of boring. But if you black out the video and you do just the sound design, your brain's gonna pick up a story from it. So let me just roll the audio. Gun smoke. As you guys can tell, audio actually tells as much story as visuals do, uh, sometimes even more because you can actually pick up a story. Like why do you think audio is getting so big in our world right now? The future's gonna be ran off audio because a lot of us don't have time to just like sit and watch a video of people talking or of information. That's mostly what everything is if it's not entertainment. Okay, so the beginning of this, if you guys know Jericho is my buddy and I hire him just like to assist me in a lot of things. He told me about this site where you could pretty much get all this old audio for free and it's like high quality audio files. I went and found this old Western show called Gunsmoke. So let me just solo this real quick so you guys can hear this. And below that, I have a song. Those combined just happen to be the same key, which I didn't mean to do that. It just happened to happen. I want to say it's a similar key, but it's almost like a diminished minor kind of note. So it kind of blends in still. It's weird. But this is the big part right here. See? I do this drop. So most of these sound effects are from epidemic sounds. Before I would have to go to YouTube and like try to rip little files off and everything. And it was just a lot of work. Epidemic sounds makes it a lot more easier. So you can see there's a lot that just went on in there. So I'm gonna break this down. If you're bored with this video, you're about to click off, don't. Again, if you want your videos to be next level, you need to care about your audio. I know audio is not as sexy and like as thrilling as getting a cool images, but I'm telling you, audio is gonna get your work to the next level. Uh, if you wanna click off of this, you're most likely focusing on the wrong thing or you're a master of audio and sound design. I'm not saying I am, but since I was 18, I've actually been producing music. When I first moved to LA, I don't live in LA anymore, but when I first did, it was actually to produce music and I was doing really well. I just got burnt out because it wasn't, I wasn't in love with it enough. I've actually made some of my own music. If you guys look up Cam Mackey on Spotify, you'll find my music. It's whatever. I think I'm clear to say that uh, I have experience with audio. Again, this goes from the song. And I blend it, you see I have a crossfade going into that, and it's going into that. Okay, this sound up here is a, a gun, a shotgun being cocked. So let me just solo that out. See, that's all it is. And my computer's kind of lagging, but, but basically the last little part is coming right before the next frame. So it's almost like loading you up for the shot that's about to happen. Solo out this next part. So you see, it's just aerosol. From there, I have another sound, and it's a motorcycle being kicked over. So you see, it's just following that. And again, if you guys are bored by this already, let me just scroll down. You see, there's a lot more going on here. So I'm just getting started here. The sound right here is a motorcycle starting up. If you look at the wavelengths, you see that it starts off, like the volume starts off low. And so I kind of built it in into where the kick started, just to blend it all. 
So you see, it doesn't all have to be exact. You don't have to put it, the whole point is blending it so it sounds natural. Now let's go to the sound below here. This is one thing that I was trying to sneak in there. I want it to be like gnarly and kind of like So I put a line growl in there. So it's a low one. Epic Demic Sounds didn't have a cougar sound, and so I also put this. This is the sound I'm most proud about. Again, I just want that motorcycle to sound nasty. So here's the motorcycle plus the two growls in there. I'm pretty pumped about that. And then I do have a whoosh sound that's going over all the clips. It's just supposed to be a build up. And then here I have a clock. What I did is I went into the audio piece and I cut it in half. One half I slowed down 50% and then the other half uh, I just kept as normal and then I put a crossfade so you'll hear. So they start blending together. So again, I want it to sound like like a build up, like something epic is about to happen. And then we'll go through what happens after that. It kind of like is a little bit of a tease. This is the sound before the whole piece. So again, just another build up. You want to be subtle about all of this. Here's the sound that goes on when the bike is running. So kind of just like a boom, like it started and it, now it's growling. Hopefully this is all making sense. Here's a laser buildup that happens during the whole thing and it actually plays along the whole next clips too. And then it cuts when the next clip comes in. So, and our last little thing here is just a, I honestly don't know why I put that in there, but it must have needed it for some reason. And then for our next clips over here, let's start the next section. So, it goes from here starting off the bike, and then we just happen to have like these, I think there's two Apache helicopters. I don't know what the other one was. We're, we're in the middle of the desert and there's a air base somewhere out there. When all that motorcycle is being kicked over, I wanted to, to give it some breath. And so when all that shit's going on, all of a sudden there's like a, an ambient drone type sound. And then the sound, the music slowly is being introduced. And what I did to this track is you see my equalizer over here, I actually went in and took all the bass out and a little bit of the treb just to make it kind of sound like a radio effect. That's all that effect is really. And then you'll see right here, I have helicopters. So that's from Epidemic Sounds, and that's a, a flyover, like a flyby. And so you see the waveform here, that's just the sound straight out of there. I didn't do anything in there to enhance it. So this is that drone sound I was talking about, where it's kind of like a wind drone desert sound in there. And then you hear the, the helicopter being mixed into there. And then we got this guy. Another helicopter, but it's like a low tone. So again, what I did with this is you see, I split the, the clip in half and then I dropped all the treb out of there and I did a fade in. Uh, to do a fade in in DaVinci, you literally just grab in the beginning up here and you just drag it. And then this clip sped up just at normal speed. And again, I did a cross fade. So you can hear them being blended. So again, the whole point of this is just to blend everything together. So I have a little human voice here. So that's just this like, again, it's the breath. It's like all this epic thing just happened in like two seconds. Now, whoo, breathe real quick. Cause something's happening, let's enjoy the moment. This was some kind of motorcycle, if I zoom in, motorcycle start idle. So it's some part of the motorcycle idling and I, I put reverb on this whole track. I'll show you how to do that real quick. So see on A9, that's where our track's at. Over at A9 over here, I have just the reverb. This is the built-in reverb plugin from uh, DaVinci. And I put on Cathedral and then I pumped up the reverb time and the pre-delay. The thing is with the reverb, and DaVinci, you can't just, I mean, you can just drag the, the tool into the clip, but if you do that, the plugin will only work on that clip. Once that clip is over, the plugin won't work anymore. It's just affecting that clip. Now, if you create a whole new track for that one piece and you put reverb on it, the whole track has reverb. So whatever clips in there, the reverb is gonna play out. So that's the trick to that. And uh, that's pretty much it for that. Uh, from there, I have some subtle effects going into this. So you see as he's exiting frame, it's kind of, my computer's glitching out right now because it's red footage and I'm screen recording. This is a pass by sound effect. And as he's about to exit frame and the new clip comes in, that sound's blending those two clips. 
So you know how we have transitions for video clips. You can also use audio to blank clips. So say if you're trying to use a transition, it's not working out, try using some audio and it will, when the ears are picking that up, your ears, your eyes, everything, your brain's connecting everything to, to be one piece. So you see right here, let's go back to the song real quick. So you see we have that radio effect, volume's building up, and then it cuts. Volume goes up more. A lot of people would probably want to put a transition in between these two clips, but I really want that music to hit. So I, I kept that hard transition into there so it really hit. Now you gotta be careful. If you pump this audio full max and you do a hard clip like that, and if there's a, a, a big treble piece, that's what blows speakers. You don't wanna be blowing people's speakers. So again, if you put a clip and there's a high pitch note in there, right on that cut, that that quick little piece, that's what blows speakers. That and having bass too high. But yeah, I just wanna show you guys all design. You can see all the stuff going on in there. It's important. So that's it. If you have any questions, let me know. For like some of my commercial work, I'm not able to find like songs that would work well for what I need. And so I end up just making my own songs. So maybe I'll do another video on that or maybe I'll film myself making a song for it and breaking down what I'm doing. I think that'd be a cool video. That's gonna be hard work. We'll see. I don't know. Peace.